we've been working on a programme called Urban Stars, which goes into three particular areas that have got high levels of youth crime and have had issues around guns, weapons and, and gang programmes. I've spoken to quite a few kids around my area and they're just bored, there's nothing for them to do, they're just hanging around on the estate and if they're just doing that, especially in big groups, it, it can cause them to do stuff that they're not supposed to do. And um, sports is a very good way of getting people off the streets. We take a number of sports, in particular cricket, football and boxing into areas where quite often there's no sporting infrastructure. We use that to get young people involved in sport and, and crime diversionary activities. Today we've got Michael Vaughan coming down and he's going to spend some time with the young people down here, maybe sort of teach them a few skills. The idea is to try and prevent kids involved in gun or knife crimes you know, and stop all that happening. And the way of doing it is to buy encourage them to come here to these kind of projects and get involved in sport. The dedication, and the, the camaraderie, the, the ethics involved in, in sport is a great way of getting kids all together and working. For me personally, learning through doing football wasn't necessarily just learning football skills. It was um, a lot of skills I learned in terms of um, being organised that are applicable in like any other area of your life. My organisation is called Cricket for Change. We're one of the partners on the programme um, and I actually deliver um, the cricket programme on an estate which is uh, quite a well-known estate for sort of like crime and anti-social behaviour um, and basically it's just a great engagement tool and they seem to love it. This formerly was a secondary school which closed down uh, and we now use this site to run schools based sessions uh, but we also use it as a coach education site, basically a really good example of how a disused facility can actually become a big sort of hub for, for sports and personal development in, in inner city areas. I always remember being at school myself and a lot of the guys who were involved in trouble they can play cricket, they can box, play football, basketball. You know, we've got to try and encourage them to see that that is the great part of life is to be involved in sport. This programme has a strategic importance, I think, in terms of young people that are starting to come through who have raised their aspirations, raised their achievements, and to actually take a, a responsible place in their own communities. I've always said it to them, even when I see them now, like, I am grateful for what they've done. And it's like, I, me learning that has made me want to do sort of like the same thing. So it is a way out. To be a part of Loris is a huge honour. You know, if I can have any kind of impact and, and help kids and uh, make sure that we're giving them the opportunities to go out there and play sport, because sport does make a difference. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great way of getting kids to, to work together and give them a vision for the future.